In this episode, we drive east from Galicia into the province of Asturias, where we will stay on the farm we used to live on. Asturias is a region in the north of Spain, bordered by massive alpine mountain ranges to the south, and one of the most beautiful coasts in the world to the north. It is definitely one of the best hidden gems in Europe, as few non-Spaniards even know about the place. In reality, there is little flat land in this region, and for over 43,000 years, humans have carved out a living in this extreme terrain, be it living on near vertical slopes herding their animals among the high peaks, or harvesting fish and seaweed from their coastal villages built into the cliffs. Okay. Because I already know. Do you know where we're going today? To the farm. That's right. Do you know what the farm's name is? Durusha. ¿Cómo te gustas el el café, Julia? Muy bien. Muy bien. Sí, me gusta mucho. Smells of seaweed and fish guts, exactly like a little fishing village should smell. I love it. This is our picnic spot. We made it to Asturias, we're so excited, and we're almost back to Darusha. So we're so excited to be back on Darusha. We haven't been here in four years, which feels like a long time. And this is the farm where we used to live. We lived here for two years before the kids were born. And it was originally our intention to raise our kids here. Um, but circumstances changed and led us elsewhere. Uh, but yeah, this place holds a deep nostalgia for me, um, just because the time that we spent here was left such an impression on our lives. Um, we were living almost entirely off the land when we lived here. We had large gardens and we were farming um, a large variety of produce. Uh, we had sheep which took care of our needs for meat and milk and chickens as well for eggs and forage. We foraged so much from the forest. Around 30% of our diet was chestnuts, hazelnuts, walnuts, apples, wild cherries and a number of other fruits. So. Now being surrounded by all of these trees that we grew to love and uh, forage from, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It feels good to be back. Yeah, it was such an incredibly happy time for us. And so our friend James bought this as an abandoned stone village a few years before we came and joined him. And then our other really good friends came and joined us as well. So it's honestly amazing to see how much work has been done on this property over the years. The two stone cottages that were pretty in pretty poor shape, James has completely renovated and they are gorgeous. And we put in loads of work as well over the years, mainly with gardening and animals. But it is a completely different place and it's so cool to see how it has changed.
Rowan, were you drinking tea? Yeah. What kind of tea do you have? Um, grapes. This is the Darusha Forest, a piece of ancient Asturias where you get the feeling that things have changed little since the dawn of time. When you ask an elderly Asturian about their legends or folklore, they always somehow involve the forest. It's like it's their doorway to the past, the timeless world that has never changed, where magic is still possible. There's the Shanas, female water fairies who live in waterfalls and swimming holes, the Buscosu, a half-man, half-goat, lord of the forest, whose job is to protect the interests of the forest and regulate the relationship of humans with the natural forces within it. The Colebre, a cave dragon, and the Trascu, a forest leprechaun who disrupts the rhythms of household life by stealing small objects and moving furniture during the night and generally making a nuisance of himself. Starting our walk along the River Dobra, it's an incredibly blue, clear no. river that comes straight out of the mountains. And we'll see if the boys make it all the way back to our favorite swimming hole. It's really drizzly today, so we won't be swimming, but it's still beautiful. It's not warm water, it's really cold. No, I want to How's your frog doing? Let me see your frog. Are you sure he's happy? He looks a little bit sad. No. Are you sure he's happy? Yeah. Look at him smiling. He's, see? He's smiling? Yeah. I don't know about that. This is so much harder Wait. with kids. It used to feel really short and fast, but now it's feeling like it's taking a lot longer to get back to our swimming hole. We made it! Beautiful, big swimming hole. Rowan, did you just fall in? White? Yeah. White? Oh my gosh. Let me see your pants. White, Mom? Now. White, Dada? White, Dada? Did you just now. fall in the water? White, Dada? White, Dada? Now. Here. What are you finding? Loads of hazelnuts. These are pretty big ones. Yeah, man. There's so many hazelnut trees around the north of Spain, and they're so sweet. Should we crack some open? Yep. <laughs> 